Restoration work on Penticton Creek is looking to help kokanee salmon spawn and return in greater numbers. I've been looking for them in recent years. It's on the higher side. So there's probably at least 5,000 kokanee in the stream right now. This year you can see behind me there's been quite a bit of construction going on and uh, this project was actually came about because of flood risk and some of the, well you can see through all Penticton Creek is a concrete lining and different sort of dams and drop structures. Some of those are starting to fail. It's more than 50 or 60 years old now and um, that poses a real hazard for downtown. If those, if those fall apart then a whole bunch of dirt and water is going to come rushing to the downtown. So this project came to repair a couple of those and at the same time we used the opportunity to add fish passage and add a couple spawning beds. Too many dams were removed this year and replaced with rocks and pool areas, ideal for spawning. Kokanee and a bunch of the other sort of um, salmon family and trout family, they need streams to reproduce. So um, Penticton Creek would have been one of the main producers for this whole region, but unfortunately because of floods back in the 40s, they went really hard after this creek and basically made it into a flume instead of a stream. So now the, the flume's not working to protect us from floods and it's been completely destroying the fish habitat and, and basically eliminated a bunch of species. A few kokanee have held on for these years just because of volunteer work and the Penticton fly fishers that maintain fish ladders and gravel. Um, but now we're slowly starting to deal with all the flood risk and the fish habitat and each year we're doing projects you can see on the stream. The restoration project aims to improve the creek from the downstream upwards, one day achieving a full section directly from Okanagan Lake. But so far it's working, the fish are coming back and if in 10 years from now we have this all done, this can be sort of like a tourist draw and things like that. People come to see the fish. Not many towns can have fish swimming right through the quarter of your town. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.